In this video, we will show you how we can connect BSNL SIP line with a COM F access gateway. Here we have BSNL SIP line, which is using soft ether technology, which most of the devices do not support. But you can achieve this using a COM's F access gateway. Let's see how to do this. Here is a network diagram shown. Here we are using a Cyrotech router in between the connection. As you can see in this, we are using a Cyrotech router where BS and LID is configured. Firstly, we need to create server as shown like this. So, we will go to the network and create the voice profile as mentioned. Here we have IP address and subnet mask given by service provider. Next, we need to go to the application and then we will set up the details like as shown. We need to set up the primary SIP register address with port 5060. Then secondary SIP register address, if any, with port 5060 as same. Then we need to give the proxy address and outbound proxy address as shown. With check the enable subscribe and enable outbound proxy. Next, we need to port forwarding to router's LAN 1 port. Using this LAN 1 port, we will connect a COM FX as gateway to pass the network for next setup. Now we will browse the Acom FXS gateway. Credentials will be admin for both username and password for the first time. Later we can change the password accordingly. After that we need to go to network option in FXS gateway to set an IP of the same network series which is already given on the IP pool of the Cyrotech router. Like in this we will give Now we need to set up static route in network settings. Here we will set the network interface as WAN, destination IP address, subnet mask and gateway IP address as shown here. Then we need to add IP alias. So here we will give the user IP address given by BSNL as shown here with subnet mask. Then we need to go to firewall option in a COM FXS gateway. Here we will set rules like this. Here we will select the protocol to all and the source domain network will be WAN. Now we will go to profile option in a COM FXS gateway. Here we will enter the domain address which is given by BSNL. Service port will be 5060 by default. Outbound proxy server and from domain is mandatory as shown. Stun will be checked as no and enable compatibility will be checked as yes. Then save it. Now go to port option, then to FX as port settings. Here we need to enter the credentials given by BSNL as shown here. Then go to advanced configuration, then go to VoIP settings. Mark listening port as single port only. Once everything is configured, go to status and port status. Here you can check that your connection is registered or not. 